What's going on guys? It's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and today I'm going to cover things you may have missed from the Bungie Rise of Iron Cosmodrome Tour stream which we saw last night. Uh, but before we get into the video, if you do enjoy it at the end, if you could leave a like, I would appreciate the support. And don't forget if you're new to my channel, subscribe for Daily Destiny. Okay, so let's just get straight into it and we're going to start off with the Gallowing. This thing being real is absolutely insane, it really is. And we all thought that foreign Belgian website was full of shit. Yet all along, it was real, confirmed in the stream. Now there are two versions. One which looks standard, available from Test Eververse. And the black version you receive from pre-ordering. <laughs> Pre-order Destiny Rise of Iron and get the Iron Gallowhorn and Iron Gallowing Sparrow. Now next up, when they eventually did go into the Cosmodrome Live to show us how it looks in all of its new glory, which is fucking sexy by the way, the first thing we see is Deej looking into the sky and we see what looks to be like a new type of flying fallen see the bot thingy thingy who the fuck knows what it is a bit further on we see Deej shooting one but keeping quiet about what they are but they are definitely something new do they attack back what are their purpose at this precise moment in time we are unsure next up we get a look at the three characters used to explore the cosmodrome What's interesting here in my opinion is the weapon the Titan is holding. It's a black Suros weapon with the Sivat logo on the side of it. And we do actually get to see this thing in action. It is an auto rifle and I believe it's definitely Siva related and mutated. Notice the kind of burn holes in the side of the weapon. They are hard to spot and you may have missed them but that's what I'm here for. Something else really interesting about this weapon is its hologram reticle. Something really weird happens, which you again may not have caught. The weapon has 37 bullets in its clip, but look how the reticle changes. For about the last 10 bullets, we can see three diamonds appear in the reticle, one either side and one above. What do these mean and in fact do? They don't seem to add damage, so what else could they do? Who knows? Moving on. Now did any of you guys notice this pop up on the screen, it states, guess what found a dormant Siva cluster. Maybe this is something you collect for a quest or maybe something needed for Siva related gear. Who knows. Next up, not long after Deej fails and dies, we see him going to his menu to change his look controls. Don't know if this was meant or not, but we can see it states his light score is a 355. So will this be the new max light score? A 20 light increase on what we have now? I'm not sure. Now many people seem to be fine with it, me being one of them. But I have found something that could indeed mean it is much, much more than a 355. But you have to remember that this, what they played on stream, was a test environment where defaults are set. But look what I found. Initially when Deej went into his menu to change his look controls, we get a quick glimpse of his gear slots. Notice the artifact slot is locked, but we all know the artifact also adds light to your guardian's overall light score. So if this counts and his light score at a 355 is missing light, gained from a max level artifact, then I do believe his light score could be around 400 or maybe even more. But like I said, this is a test environment. Um. Next up, when we head towards the rocket yard, we see what looks to be a new type of patrol mission, seen here by the new icon. There's no detail on what this was, but Deej makes it pretty clear that he wanted to get this on stream. And to be honest, that's about it from the stream besides all the obvious stuff. But if I did miss something really interesting, let me know what it is down below in that comments section. Tell me your thoughts on what I've covered in the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate that support, and I'll catch you on that next one. Peace out until next time. Peace. Always in the